Hi there, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new DPS-1 personal digital media player. So first things first, let's take a look at some specifications. The DPS-1 is 15mm tall by 95mm deep and 64mm wide. Now along one edge of the actual DPS-1 we've got some basic hard buttons, play pause, track forward and track back and we've also got two micro SD card slots. And for ease of this video, I've actually put my 128 gig micro SD card into one of the slots. Each card slot will take a maximum in excess of 200 gig. The micro USB allows you to most importantly recharge the unit. And then secondly, using our XDAP software, you can sync music files from your computer to the internal memory and actually the card slots themselves, as long as they've got a card in there. Now this lock switch when engaged actually prevents you from accidentally controlling the DAP player. It switches off the touch sensitive screen. It also prevents you accidentally pressing the buttons. And this is really handy if you're constantly popping it in and out of your trouser pocket. And to disengage the lock, it's very, very simple. You just flick the switch back and then all of the buttons and the screen become active. Now here we come up to the business end where you've got your power button, you've got your standard 3.5 millimeter headphone socket, and you've actually got a balanced 2.5 millimeter headphone socket. In regards to features, the DPS-1 is fantastically well specified. It has networking features for Tidal, Tuning, MQA. Because of its twin Sabre DAX and Sabre amps, Obviously, it's fully compliant with the high-res audio and supports many, many formats. It also has a built-in up to 15-hour battery. The rest of the features on the DPS-1, I'll actually put it in a link in the description so you can go directly to the webpage. But I think it's now time to take a look at the menu system in the DPS-1. On startup, the first thing that'll happen is you'll actually synchronize all of your music from the internal memory and the two SD card memory slots. Now, depending how much music you've got will directly affect how long the syncing process will take. You've got to remember it's taking it from three different places and creating its own library list for you. The DPS-1 actually has a 2.4 inch screen, which makes it easy to navigate around such a small area. Now, the library is laid out very, very simple and easy to use system. And I think a bit of Zeppelin will actually be quite good now. So I've actually selected via artist, so it gives me the options of the particular albums in order or all of the songs in one big long list. And there we go, it's now a plane. So it gives you a nice background image. You can actually change the screensaver, the background to the album cover if you so desire. And also when you turn the volume up and down, the picture will fade out and you'll get this nice big volume bar. Tapping the dotted icons right in the middle of the lower part of the screen will actually take you back to the main menu directly. And here we go, we're back here and you can actually see the album you're listening to is scrolling the information along the bottom with a tiny picture of the album cover. And it really is that easy to get music playing on the DPS-1. Also, directly on the home button is an EQ function. And this allows quick and easy access to the audio adjustment menu. Now you can actually customize the sound and the EQs directly. But as a default, these are actually set to off. But with a swipe of a finger, you can actually turn all this equalizer settings on. There's a nice list of preloaded EQs for you, but the really interesting part is at the bottom, you can actually have three custom EQs that you set up yourself. So you can either leave the system flat or you can use one of the preset EQs or even make up your custom EQ to give you the best personal experience. Well, I hope you've enjoyed taking this first look with me at the DPS-1. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.